Alrighty, so this is an implementation here built by Greg, kind of following on with um, the, what was our tip of the week, or, you know, one of our write-ups of the week was actually Zoho per, last week providing a kind of template to do this implementation. We thought, wow, that looks cool. Let's see if it works. And so Greg went ahead and built it out in our system. Um, so really the goal here is essentially just to create a channel and a bot inside of Zoho Click where users can ask questions and it will route over to ChatGPT for responses. Um, so essentially, all we need to do is take that code snippet that Zoho provided, um, you know, in one of their blogs recently, add it in as kind of the backend code for a particular bot, um, and then create a channel for users to be able to subscribe and chat with that bot. Um, works great. It even will actually maintain threads, so you can ask follow-up questions the same way that you can um, when you are working on ChatGPT just directly. Um, you do have to have a actual paid account. I think, what does it cost, Brad? It's like two cents for every 750 Seven, words or something. Yeah, like every that. 750. Yeah, that costs you a couple cents. Um, but while worth using, I mean, this thing can give you really good answers or at least frameworks maybe to do some more research. Um, you know, again, quick implementation, nothing we really had to do because Zoho had done most of the heavy lift for us with that article. So highly recommend taking a look at this. I mean, you know, Obviously, ChatGPT for different types of work and industry is going to be in different quality, but for technical fields, it does do a pretty killer job at on at least uh, putting you in the right direction. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty slick. I'm loving it. You know, you talk, I'm knowing the media because basically Bing is now getting graded ChatGPT and there's constantly slamming ChatGPT saying, oh, you got to validate it. Um, I don't know, man. I've been testing it on a whole bunch of stuff. And from a pure research standpoint, Right. If you just want to get some without having to go through a thousand ads or down rabbit holes where people don't know what they're talking about, whatever, it really gives you great information that then you can kind of go validate and put it together. Um, you know, I know that we've tested it on some things like, you know, someone will ask a question and rather than write it out, we'll just type it into chat GPT. You know, how do you add your email signature to Zoho? And it kind of gives you this whole, you know, step by step. It's pretty it's pretty accurate. We may have to make a change or two down the road, but at the end of the day, um, it's pretty accurate. This is a slick little integration. Um, and yeah, really like nice paying them in two cents for every 750 words, you don't have to sit there and wait, you know, like, yeah. oh, chat GPT is busy right now and that kind of stuff. So uh, I'm, I'm pretty stoked with it. Uh, just another great implementation uh, for click, you know? Yeah, I mean, just absolutely. One more thing moment. that you can do in click, <laughs> right? Yeah, it was quick, right? I mean, like someone wanted to get this done. Well, half hour ops, just, you know, between the back. Sure. I mean, it's, I never know the nitty gritty and if Greg had to make any particular changes to the code, but uh, probably pretty straightforward given that um, I think he turned around in like a day. Yeah. Yeah. So I would, I would think it's uh, pretty cool stuff. Pretty cool stuff.